and only one person gave me the instrument. And I can't play that one for sure. So I guess I just have to just uh, relax and enjoy it. It's good to see everyone tonight. It's cold outside, but it's warm in here, amen? Amen. It's good to see all the, all the, all the beginning band players and the band members. Thank you for coming tonight. And we want to welcome you here and uh, relax, stay warm. Is anyone chilly? I see a hand. You always are? That makes two of us. Yes. I do have one student or two that will tell me in a heartbeat, sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm with chilly and cold. And so we're going to heat up a little tiny bit. And warm it up. Amen. Let us uh, bow our head in prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we want to say thank you for bringing us here tonight. We are here to give you honor and praise. We are also to thank you for the talents of our young people. The Holy Spirit is moving upon them to develop. Some of these individuals, some of these young people, they will take these talents and if possible, they'll make a career and be a professional musician. Anoint them, keep them, and may everything that is done tonight draw each of us closer to you. Thank you for this opportunity to share. And as we participate, may we uh, encourage these kids and bless them and keep them. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, relax, enjoy. Pastor Felipe, it's all yours. He's our MC, let's give him a hand. I told him I like the tie. I like the tie. <laughs> I like the shirt too. Thank you very much. Uh, I'll thank give you the address. Okay, okay. thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> My birthday is in uh, how many days, kids? 15 days? Uh, where are the most parents? <laughs> oh, okay. Lewis? I know where you live. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. Good evening. How are you doing tonight? Good? Are you ready to listen to some wonderful music? I know that I am, and I'm super, super honored to be your MC for tonight. Thank you so much to the moms and the dads and the grandmas and grandpas and the uncles and the aunties with the cameras. I already see where you are. You're, you're probably stationed in the right place. Welcome once again. We just want to make you feel at home. And I'll in the week thinking to myself, what makes Christmas so wonderful? Is it the fact that we make our postal service workers a lot busier with all packages and letters that we're sending? Is it the fact that we decorate our trees and our cats knock down every single one of them every time we put it on the tree again? What makes it? Is it that? No, Jesus. Oh, ah, I like that. It's definitely not my uncle or that member that Definitely, definitely wants to convert you into a lover of eggnog, even though you might not love eggnog so much. <laughs> well, whatever it may be. Yes. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Whatever that may be, we just want to welcome you and contribute to whatever things of wonderfulness you may attach to the idea of Christmas. And Mr. T, we'd like to introduce two special people right now. Yes, Mr. T. We made a mistake at our last program, and we like to correct mistakes. If I do something openly, my kids will tell you, if I make a mistake in class, I'll, and I'll get it straight. I go to the class, and I, and I get it right. So at this time, uh, you know, this individuals, all of, all of us are supporting these kids, amen? And we appreciate what each of you has, is doing and has done. Uh, when we had our last program, our alumni program, we had uh, VIPs and VVIPs, and there were two people left off the list, and that was my mistake. And so I would like the new voters to come forward and come and sit in the special seats uh, uh, for them. Mr. and Mrs. Newbold, let's give them a hand. Let's thank you. I'll be shot by them later, but it'll be okay. Yes, and yes, the good thing is they don't know where I live. You do and don't tell them. 
Amen. God bless Thank you, you Mr. T. Thank you, Mr. T. Well, without any further ado, uh, would you join me in welcoming our wonderful NSAA concert band and their lust beloved director, Mr. Steve Martin.
next song that we have is called Patapan, arranged by Cooster. It was actually originally a French carol, uh, and it shares a lot of commonalities with our favorite Little Drummer Boy. So let's see if you can catch some comparisons here and there between that and this tune. For you now, Patapan. but I wanted to see if you knew why, why did Mozart get rid of his chickens? Do you know? You don't know why? Because they kept saying, bah, 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 bah. He had to get rid of them. He had to. Folks, we're going to keep going on with our program tonight with Bring a George, arranged by Lopez. Enjoy.
gifts you in the Christmas spirit. For me, it's a lovely Christmas march. And by that, I mean that the next song that we're going to listen to, the next tune, this tune called A Cambridge Carol Arranged by Gazi, is just that, a march about Christmas to get us into the Christmas spirit. So we hope that you enjoyed this arrangement by Gazi, A Cambridge Carol. Did you know that this was originally called something else? It was actually called originally Ding Dong Merrily on High. And later on they just, I guess, switched the name up to a Cambridge Carol. And it basically the, the fun of it is that the march consists of a kind of like an echo, a back and forth between the drums and the flute. Now these are definitely to get you in the spirit of a march, right? It's a good old march. And uh, we hope that you enjoy this rendition. Um, I hope that your Christmas may be full of joyous Christmas spirits. And whenever you feel like getting into that Christmas jolt of a spirit, that you will go back and find this lovely little tune, Cambridge Carol.
I hope a favorite of yours, because it's definitely a favorite of mine, Deck the Halls. Oh man, who here loves that song? I love that song. But did you know that a long, long time ago, this favorite Christmas tune was actually written for New Year's? Makes no sense, right? What happened? This is a really good Christmas song. I don't know what happened, but that's just what the history book says. But I hope that we continue to enjoy this lovely carol that was initially just called Deck the Hall. Not only did they switch it up, but they also added a plural in there. They made it halls. So they switched it up on us. But I hope that you enjoy it. Deck the halls. And as our band is continuing to fine tune themselves up here, I got another one for the kids. Kids, I got another one for you. Are you ready for this? Let's see, you didn't get the first one. Can you get the second one? I hope so. 